Um, but what I want to do is actually to take uh, the session, which has wonderful um, entertaining and comic and musical and other aspects to it, and to situate it in a very, very serious issue, and that is the, the, the greater tableau of Jewish life throughout the world, with a particular focus on the, on the United States, where I happen to know a little more than, than other countries. Um, what we'll see today is really taking place against uh, major tendencies which are moving in, in two directions. On the one hand, there are significant challenges, problems confronting Jewry, and there are some very, very encouraging developments at the same time, and maybe one's close to the other. The, probably the, the single biggest challenge faced by the Jasper Jewry, from which we're, we're, we're uh, many of us are focusing, is the well known challenge of, of intermarriage. Right now, about um, of all uh, Jews who are, uh, who are married, which is all Jews, are, are, mar are marrying non-Jews convert to Judaism. Of their children, they grow up to identify as, as Jews. Of uh, their grandchildren, only one in ten grow up to, to, to be Jews. Uh, we're now living in a world that's very, very different from the world of my, of my grandmother. If I asked a Bobby, would ever date a non-Jew? There are several parts of that sentence which would be incomprehensible to my mother. <laughs> uh, today, actually, at, at the end of the session, it will be about 4 o'clock here, it's 9 a.m. in the East Coast and 6 a.m. West Coast. There are, there, there are telephone banks that I ask you to use. We have random digit dialing to Jews who are 28 years old. And when you call them, I want you to ask them two questions. One is, are you sleeping next to somebody? And the second, is the, is the, is the person Jewish? Of those who are sleeping next to somebody, whether they're married to them or not, about two thirds will answer that this person next to me, whatever. It, it, <laughs> um, it, it could be two thirds of those people would not be Jewish, which is a major, major revolution from the world in which my grandmother grew up, in which my, my parents grew up, in which I grew up, that today we're living in a world where most diaspora Jews have romantic relationships. I've had a medical relationship, but I haven't read a medical relationship with, uh, with non-Jews. It presents a sharp contrast with Israel. In Israel, Israeli Jews look at their local Gentiles and think that they want to kill them. In America, they look at the local Gentiles and think they want to fall in love with them. They're very, very, very different Gentiles, which stands for a very, very different Judaism, and a Judaism that, in fact, in, in the States and, and around the world, is far more open, far, far more uh, has more, far more porous, uh, porous You do not, not all of us want to kill them, No, 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 I, 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 I'm, I'm all okay. <laughs> I'm just saying the, the impression okay. that we've got, and also with the current government, that, that there has to be, sorry, different patterns. Okay. <laughs> okay. At the same time as this is happening in the States and, and around the world, this is a, we, we, we've been living through an, area, an, an era of incredible innovation, one of the most one of the most innovative eras, eras in in current in contemporary Jewish life uh, uh, in the United States, and I, I said there elsewhere, there are five areas where Jews, young Jews in particular, have been innovative. The areas of religious community and spirituality, in the in, 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 in all kinds of other developments, in the area of Jewish learning, represented here by by Mipa. But in the last year, for example, there have been 46 Limud festivals around the world. So those are more than I, uh, I'm doing a study for them, I haven't mentioned it. Um, the, the, in the area of Jewish culture, music, comedy, videos, drama, all, the, all, have, all have exploded in the, in the last few years, in part because of the pro-am movement in culture, that is, uh, uh, the, the reduction of costs in producing culture and in finding our, 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 our audience nations. Fourth, the area of social justice. Jews are involved, as ever before, in the environment, in food sustainability, in human rights, in combating poverty in the third world. Jews want to be not tribal, but global Jewish citizens. And last, <coughs> diffusing all these areas, is the whole area of Jewish, uh, of, uh, of new media. Facebook, Twitter, and billions of paid Jewish pages on the internet. Pages which didn't exist before 1992 when Al Gore founded the internet. So, um, the, the, now, as this, as this stuff is happening, what we're seeing is that younger people are presenting a different view of what it means to be Jewish uh, from, from the old generation. The old generation, for the older generation, we were Jews by birth. Being Jewish is something that's given to us. It's sociology.
was supposed to describe. For Jews today, being Jewish, is you're, you're Jews by choice. You're choosing whether, how, where, when to be Jewish, as Arnie Eisner and I wrote in, in the Jew, Jew Within back in, back in the year 2000. Uh, the older generation emphasizes Jews as family. The younger generation views, sees Jews as, as cosmopolitan, universalist, and global. The older generation is, is deeply concerned with, with threat, internal threat, intermarriage, assimilation, and the like, and external threat, anti-Semitism, Israel, Arabs, and all that. The younger generation is less threat, less protective, but more concerned with, in their view, with expressing Jewish values in what they see as a far less threatening world. The older generation puts a premium on hierarchical, centralized structures, all of which, by the way, are in decline. The younger generation puts a premium on individual initiative and creativity. For the older generation, it's an sort of belonging and affiliation. Only has, has uh, uses the word non to describe someone who is, at, you know, out to lunch, uh, at, at the lunch. Uh, for the younger generation, rather than a identity of, of belonging and affiliation, they have, have an identity of meaning and, 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 and purpose. So in, in, what we're seeing here now, the younger generation is pretty much Jewish values, yet at the same time saying that they want to cross the boundaries. They want to cross the boundaries of Jews from non-Jews. They want to separate, cross the boundaries that separate Jews from Jews. And they want to not only cross boundaries, but they want to smash boundaries, they want to be edgy, they want to bring in culture from the society and, and, and bring Jewish purpose to it and take Jewish meaning and purpose and project it to the large society. And we have examples of that sitting around me at the, on this panel. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very, very much. Yeah.